Welcome to the All-22 Film Room. My name is Dr. Football Head, former PFF analyst and current degenerate gambler, and unfortunately also a lifelong Browns fan. Uh, today we're going to be breaking down the film of a few plays that I wanted to highlight because Kevin Stefanski once again is driving me crazy, and we go ahead and get the win against this Jags team almost despite a few of these insane play calls that over the years, if you've watched closely, he's just in love with being way too cute and being the smartest guy in the room when we really just need to uh, get the dub and get out of town. So let's uh, start. The Browns are having a nice little drive here. We're running the ball well. Dante Foreman looks really good. He's wearing 27. Reminds you of Hunt. He's running hard. Ford's a nice little change of pace. Everything looks so much different than last week against the Cowboys. Obviously, Micah Parsons isn't there, and the Jaguars' secondary is not as good. Uh, and then this is going to be our probably Watson's longest pass play of the, the season so far. A uh, little bunch formation, and Elijah Moore sneaks out of there and gets a, gets a nice little completion across the 50. So we are driving. We're grinding the clock. This this is cooking. And then here we go. Stefanski with his favorite play of his entire life, the f***ing wide receiver reverse. And, of course, it goes for negative one yard, and there's a hold on the play, and Watson is out in front blocking. So let's just – okay. At this point in the field, we should be – we should be taking either a shot to the end zone or just keep stuffing the ball down their throats. They can't stop the run. They can't stop the short passing. And then we do this thing every time we cross the 50s. The fancy is in love with the wide receiver reverse or some gimmick play when all we need to do is just keep grinding down the field. So let's watch this again. All right. So at this point, you've got the safety. They're in cover two, so this he was passing him off. So you have two guys looking into the backfield. Every single linebacker sees this. And now you have your injury-prone $230 million guaranteed quarterback lead blocking for Jerry Judy, who's fast and who who's good in open space, but like what what are what's the best case scenario here? We get five yards, maybe he breaks a tackle, we get eight yards. And worst case scenario is Kind of what happens. We get a hold on Hudson here, push a, a block in the back. You might get Watson. Like, what if this guy just takes Watson out right here and his shoulder's broken again? Like, what what are we doing with this play? All right, so like I said, no gain is your best case scenario. And then, oh, now it's first and 20. So you're you're going down the field and you you do this for no reason to your team. It's it's crazy, and he does this every single game with these trick plays, and it's infuriating. Um, so okay, let's uh, let's see. Are we moving on from that? Okay, so here's the uh, here. I just wanted to show the play after. Uh, so this is second and twenty. So this this drive should be dead. Okay, Watson doesn't see doesn't see Judy breaking wide open here. Instead, he. He has some pressure, so he runs out of the pocket. And Judy makes an insane catch right here. Like, it's just an awesome catch. We, we had no business. That could have been a pick. You know, this drive should be should be dead, but it, it stays alive. And I want to show you, Watson is not uh, out of the woods here. So, Watson, let me get the telestrator going. We got Watson. Whoop. Watson hits his back foot. And right here, this is the throw. So he's got to hit that. He sees the pressure. He freaks out. And then we get this mad scramble. And, you know, Judy Judy makes an awesome catch. But like I said, this, this could easily be a pick right here. Um, so Watson, you know, still making boneheaded stuff. And I think the Stefanski did do a good job of trying to make his throws one read, get the ball out quick and run the ball. And, you know, that, that sort of helped things out. So now let's get to the end of the game, which, okay. We get the safety. We get the ball back at the 40 after they punt it back to us. We have two minutes to grind away. They have no timeouts. We run the ball in first. We run the ball. I think this is the second down we're going to run the ball. Okay. It's now third and six. There's the marker right there. Okay, third and six. They have no timeouts. There's a minute 30 left. All you got to do is jam the ball up the middle. Maybe, just maybe, we run the ball here. We get the six yards, and the game's over. Stefanski wants to be so effing cute, so he puts Watson on a bootleg. Now, to be fair to Stefanski here, they had to tell Watson 
to throw to to take this sack, slide, stay in bounds, whatever. Why is this buffering so bad? Um, and instead, once again, our <laughs> injury-prone quarterback, instead of just handing the ball to 27 and taking the three yards and then punting, you get him out in space where now he's going to take a horrible hit, makes a terrible decision. That's the fancy t- – like I said, this is Watson's fault for thinking he should throw this. But it's Stefanski's fault for thinking the dumbest fucking player on your team, Watson, should be in charge of any decision with a minute 30 left. Just run the ball. So instead of the clock continuing to move, I mean, this easily could have been a fumble six if like th- that's that was that close to a fumble six. Um, and it's just tough. Like just run the ball, punt it, and the game is. I mean, the end of that game took so long. It was so. So tough to watch. Uh, thank God for Bahorquez being able to blast punts. And uh, we got out of there with a W. But, you know, I don't know what to do. Someone's got to get into Fancy's ear and, and let him know that he's not the smartest guy in the room. All right, guys. Peace.